Not every tattoo is made equally. Red flags are not all made equal either. What's a red flag? To be clear, gents, red flags do not automatically disqualify a woman from your commitment. Instead, they are traits, habits, or characteristics that make a girl less likely to be a good or decent significant other. Red flags were present with my ex-partners, but I was able to address most of them, if not entirely control them all. Lesser men would not be able to perform that feat. Red flags are what they are, even though not all of them are equal. You must be alert and get ready if a girl exhibits a warning sign. And the more warning signs a woman possesses, the more likely it is that she will completely upend your life in a variety of ways. Red flags are also associated with female teenagers and women. Anytime a lady has a red flag, it always shows during physical intimacy, because only that can drive women to self-destruct. She should be avoided if she engages in excessive drinking, self-hatred, gambling, or drug use. It is exactly that. Red flags should therefore raise suspicion, so make sure to move forward with the utmost prudence. However, if she emits too many red flags, you should use the exit button. Red flags won't be discussed because you guys are aware that I've already covered them. However, I'm also going to discuss another topic, which is referred to as crimson flags. Crimson flags are behaviors and traits that are a little more concerning than red flags. They nearly automatically rule out a lady from a long-term commitment. If you see a female with crimson flags, I'll explain what it signifies in terms of the tattoo. She will cause more harm than a woman with red flags if you don't have an impenetrable rock-solid plan in place. We also have what we call black flags. When it comes to long-term relationships, these characteristics make women radioactive. I would strongly advise against approaching this type of woman when you know that you have no game at all. Stay away from them even if you have game. They are women who are beyond saving, women with borderline personality disorder, and skilled manipulators. I'll now explain these in terms of tattoos. Red flag tattoos are the first on the list. Any tattoo that can be covered up or visible when she is naked is the first of two criteria for red flag tattoos. Second, the tattoo is not that large. I'll offer you a few instances of red flag tattoos. Tramp stamps can be concealed. Socks can help conceal a little ankle tattoo. Shoes can conceal a minor foot tattoo. Her hair can conceal the tattoo on the back of her neck. Like I said before, red flag tattoos are very small and very simple to hide. Next on the list is crimson flag tattoos. Three criteria exist for crimson flag tattoos. They are not easily hidden, which is the first criterion. They are usually visible, whether or not they are dressed, which is the second criterion. Their size is the third criterion. The majority of the time, whether wearing clothing or not, they cannot be easily concealed and are readily apparent. Gents, proceed with extreme caution if you plan to date a girl with a tattoo on your wrist, either the inner or outer wrist. When she displays her cleavage, her tattoos are visible. This tattoo will be noticeable because most women frequently display their cleavage. Both an upper arm tattoo that is visible and a big foot tattoo that covers the majority of the foot. Those are examples of crimson flag tattoos. We now have a tattoo of the black flag. A black flag tattoo requires two prerequisites. Additionally, a woman with these tattoos is radioactive, so be cautious around her. No matter how attractive she is, do not stick with these women under any circumstances. The main drawback of a black flag tattoo is that it cannot be concealed, regardless of what she is wearing. Second, it is an extremely big tattoo. Hand tattoos cannot be concealed, a permanently visible neck tattoo. That neck tattoo is still visible even through her long hair. A black flag tattoo is also on the face. Men, don't approach her if she has facial tattoos. As I previously stated, just because a girl gets a tattoo doesn't automatically disqualify her from being a good partner or even at least compatible for a long-term relationship. Even if she raises some red flags, she is still in the race. If she has crimson flags, that almost eliminates her from contention, but you need to have game. If she has black flag tattoos, avoid her at all costs. Anyway, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to create more content for you. See you next time. Cheers.